everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet a stitch that is called the mixed stitch and it is a stitch that is found in this pistachio shawl by Canoe Mountain Designs. Audrey has designed this gorgeous triangular shawl uh, and one of the stitches it features is this mixed stitch. So today in this tutorial, we are going to focus on row seven of the pistachio shawl and, uh, and focus on this beautiful stitch right here. You can see it's a combination of a puff stitch and a triple stitch, which gives it this very unique texture. It's absolutely beautiful. I uh, highly recommend that you head on over to Canoe Mountain Designs, check out the entire shawl pattern. It is a paid pattern and uh, the direct link is there in the description of this video if you haven't already seen it. Um, and uh, I want to thank Audrey for allowing me to show you how to work this mixed stitch today. Today in my tutorial I'm going to be using just a lightweight yarn and uh, as well a four millimeter crochet hook. So for row seven, and as I mentioned, we're only working row seven of this shawl. The rest of the shawl pattern is a paid pattern by Canoe Mountain Designs, and uh, the link is there in the description of the video. But for row seven, you're going to start by working, as you have in the other rows, an alternate um, chain three. So to do that, you're going to begin by chaining one and turning your work. Then into this first stitch, you're going to work, it's almost uh, like a vertical row of single crochet stitches. So you're going to insert your hook into that first stitch, yarn over and drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two, so like a single crochet. And that's your first chain. You're then going to chain one. This time insert your hook into the horizontal bar of the post of the last single crochet worked. So it's my single crochet right under my next chain. Insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. That's my second chain. Now for my third chain one, insert your hook through the horizontal bar of the post of that single crochet just below, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So that's just going to give you a little bit of a thicker uh, starting chain uh, so it fills in the fabric a little bit more. You're then going to work two more double crochet stitches into the same stitch. Next, work one puff stitch into the next stitch. To work your puff stitch, you're going to yarn over insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. You're going to do that a total of three times. So that was once, once more, and one more time. And then going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on your hook. Next, you're going to chain two and now work the first of our mix stitches. To work the mixed stitch, you're going to yarn over twice, insert your hook into the stitch that you just worked in. So insert your hook into the same stitch as the puff stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. You're going to have four loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two more. You'll have two loops remaining on your hook, skip the next two stitches, and into the next stitch, we're going to work a puff stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop kind of to the height of your double crochets and do that two more times. You're then going to have, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all eight loops. 
that is your mix stitch. Next, chain two, and you're going to continue working mix stitches all the way across to the center. So yarn over twice, insert your hook into the same stitch that you just worked, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. We want to complete the mix stitch by skipping the next two stitches and working a puff stitch into the next. So yarn over and draw up a loop three times. Once you have eight loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all eight. Chain two and repeat that all the way across to your center stitch. When you come across to your center, into your center, as you have been doing, you're going to work two double crochet stitches. chain two, and two more double crochet stitches. Next, you're going to work one puff stitch into the next stitch. Chain two, and now work a mixed stitch. Chain two, and you're now going to repeat that all the way across mixed stitch. chain two, followed by mixed stitch. Repeat that all the way across until one stitch is remaining. Once you come across and you have one stitch remaining, into this final stitch, work three double crochet stitches. And that brings you to the end of row seven of the pistachio shawl. You're then going to turn your work and continue on working. But uh, that's all I'm going to show you for now. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, I highly recommend you go check out that pattern by Audrey. It's absolutely stunning. And uh, thank you so much for joining me while you're here. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again soon. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye.